Connor, Woken Tomorrow. Um, first of all, obviously it was a disappointing end to how Tuesday went. How, how can we use the, the emotions of that for to motivate us tomorrow for a positive result? Uh, I think the main thing is the performance levels have been really high across the three games. Um, of course, you get free luck in the game and you'd expect to see it out, but when you look at the timings of the goals and, and the way they happen, basically their front two have, have gotten a result. They, um, we had enough chances to win two games, and to be fair to their front two, that's why they're on the money they're on. They've been around this level scoring goals for years. They got three chances between them and took all three. So, listen, when we, when we watch it back, they didn't create much else. We were fairly comfortable. We created, as I said, enough chances to win three games. So, of course, the result's disappointing, but when you watch it for what it is, they, to be fair to their strikers, they were clinical with the chances they got. Oh, it was more of the manner of the, the draw, which is why there's a bit, maybe a little bit of negativity around it. But overall, three games in, second in the league, seven points. And like you say, the performances have been phenomenal so far. How important is it to keep that going? Yeah, of course. Listen, you said I went negative. There's no negativity around that camp, not within the change room. Um, certainly not in our group. No, the lads are positive. It's seven points from nine. I think everyone around the club would have bit everyone's hand off for that at the start of the season. So. We're in a really good place. As I said, the performance has been brilliant and we think there's a lot more to come um, within the group. We've, as we're playing well, I think there's a lot more to come from this group as well. So it's always positive. And as I said, seven from nine with the three games we've had to start with is, is a great return. It has been a, a team-wise, obviously tough start to the season, but good points. Uh, Woken tomorrow, their team, uh, it doesn't get any easier. Obviously a team that were up there in the playoffs last year. What, what are we expecting from them tomorrow? Listen, they'll be, they'll be similar to what they were last year. Um, very, very tough side to play against. They're really, really good at what they do. They all know their jobs, well drilled, aggressive, um, lots of contacts. They ask a lot of questions, um, really good from restart. So we listen, we know how to test. Um, if you've been around this level for long enough, you know how to test that comes with playing Woking. And the season they had last year was brilliant, probably a bit unlucky like ourselves to, to fall short in the playoffs. Um, but over the course of last season, they were excellent and we expect them fully to be up there again this year. So it'll be a very, very tough game. And, um, one that we're re um, relishing and looking forward to getting into. Yeah. I'll see. Uh, Anthony Hartigan joined the club uh, on uh, Tuesday. Uh, he sort of was thrown straight in in the match day squad. How has he been then training this week? Now he's got a few sessions under his belt. Yeah, really good. Um, I thought he'd done well when he came on Tuesday night. To be fair, he's really clean in possession. He looks to play forward. Um, he's got great pictures when he has got the ball. So um, he's a real great addition to the group, and it just makes the squad stronger. Um, we're all, obviously it was, it was known that we were looking for someone in that position just to bolster the squad and then. Um, have more competition for places, which is always a positive thing, uh, especially when, when you think of last year, the amount of games we had toward the back end of the season. It's nice to have a squad now where we can maybe rotate a little bit more, but he's, um, he's been brilliant in training. Uh, he looks really clean and uh, looks, seems to be a really good signing for us. Obviously, that's a player coming in. Someone they announced today that leaving on a month loan is Sam Beard. Uh, what was the thinking behind uh, sending him out for a month on loan? Uh, we love Beardy. We always have. He's always done really well for us. Uh, he got a little injury in pre-season, which obviously held him back. I think he missed he missed about three, four weeks of pre-season, which obviously is tough. Um, obviously, the lads end up the lads that get through all the pre-season, they stands them in good stead. Obviously, as I said, Beardy missed a few weeks, so this will do him the world of good to go out and get games. I think he's, I believe he's got six, seven games within that month period, so it'll be brilliant for him to go and get a lot of minutes. Uh, and then, obviously, when he comes back in a month time, can he break into our group then? And finally, is there any update to the team news for tomorrow? Uh, obviously, Coke's had, a, had an illness, had a bug on Tuesday night, so he, he's fa thankfully he's back in the building. And Danny Collins obviously came off with dead legs, or is, we're assessing him and we see how he feels tomorrow uh, before we make a decision. But other than that, there's no, no fresh injury concerns. Um, obviously, the boys got through it all well on Tuesday night, and obviously, again, from uh, yesterday and today. Connor, thank you for your time. Cheers, thank you.